Hello everybody, Gamer Speaking Nonsense here, and today we're going to have our last minute rundown on Storm vs. Korra. I'm Deviant Dario. I'm Infinite One. And we'll be starting with Korra right now, and um, first of all, I just want to say this was kind of a very random matchup, but whatever, I guess they're running out of ideas, but we'll see where this goes. Um... So we've already had an Avatar fight, and it was Aang. It's Korra's turn, and honestly, there's a big freaking difference in power compared to Aang and Korra's. Because Aang had to freaking, I guess technically had to learn that shit within a short period of time, and did a pretty good job. But that being said, Korra had a lot more time to really uh, test out her powers, and had a little bit more extra training to back it up. And at the same time, in her air, in her world, had a lot more um, availability to other arts at the same to be able to uh, improve herself. And at that point, there's been other new forms of bending that uh, she basically was able to do everything and anything at that point. Uh, and if anyone who knows the show, she basically used the main four uh, forms of bending: uh, earth bending, air bending, water bending, and fire bending. And on top of that, there's a fifth form of bending that was uh, invented. And aside from the sub-bendings, like lightning bending and mud bending, blah, blah, blah. But there's one called energy bending, which I think might give her an advantage in this fight. Because it basically is her being able to manipulate someone's literal, like, chi, ki, soul energy. And that's also how she's able to give and take away bending from other uh beings that being said storm is exactly a bender it's more of um instead of a spiritual based thing it's more of a genetic um ability so Amazon thing. yeah so not really sure if the energy bending itself is going to get storms uh well deactivate storms abilities right away but i definitely see i see it uh affecting her greatly and probably doing some damage to her <clears throat> because they already can do the same, practically the same abilities. But once we get to Storm, you'll see what I mean. Um, but that fit, it's that one bending, that energy bending that I make, that I think will uh, actually have a nice advantage to the situation. Um, not to mention that, not to mention the fact she can't, because she can channel spiritual based energy, she is capable of going into Avatar state way faster and more on demand compared to uh uh aim could um she had a she had a lot more time and a lot more intense training it with the spiritual war spirit spiritual i cannot speak right now excuse me with the spiritual world uh with compared to aim did sound and, about eh, reminder a little late <laughs> so i'm just getting a little tired but we're gonna get this done so Korra can literally can just tap right into the energies of the spiritual world and can just give herself a nice little uh, power up <laughs> and can even use her own spiritual energy to uh, project like an astral form and basically do what Goku did to beat, uh, spoiler, to beat Moro in the end of uh, the Moro saga. <laughs> Dude, everyone's going to be mad now. Do you think of it? Korra did it first, so it's Dragon Ball referencing. You know, I don't want to think about it too much. Other than that, um, it's her usual bending abilities that might help, but really won't do much because Storm can basically do the same shit. Um, I don't really have much to add on to with Korra other than she's just a little, a little bit stronger and a lot more... Um, mature with her powers compared to Aina's and with that little with the little extra ability like energy bending that's pretty much her biggest advantage to the field if it works anyway let's move on to storm or i don't know if we're gonna say this right oro oro monroe also known as storm also known as queen of wakanda yeah, yeah check that shit out <laughs> she yeah there's a point where she basically married T'Challa. So, she, her enhanced senses, she's aware of sudden changes in the ecosystem and read can read air current and rain patterns. Can also sense natural disasters, storms, hurricanes, earthquakes, etc, etc, etc. 
She literally can feel what the earth is feeling. She practically she is, is Mother Nature. Mother Nature. <clears throat> she can fly up to about maybe 600 miles per hour, expand and combat, resistance to telepathy, mind manipulation. Her powers are affected by her emotions and willpower. The overuse of her powers can cause extreme exhaustion. If she becomes enraged, she can cause devastating storms. And also, she also has Is very she... severe claustrophobia. She has, she control electricity manipulation, wind manipulation, water manipulation, etc. She can flash. She can create floods, manipulate the temperature, and instantly freeze people. Um, controls the humidity. She can. I like this one though. She can. She can cause acid rain to fall. Oh God, that's nasty. She can create hurricanes, hail, a hydrogen bomb. Oh wow. She, that's... Yeah, she can. She can make like a hyd a hydrogen bomb. Oh wow! She... So, so not only is she, ca okay, I can understand to be able to manipulate the uh, elements around her, but to be able to have the knowledge to know which ones to mix to be able to create something like that—that's actually pretty dangerous and very yeah, clever. It says she she gathers hydrogen into a per like a small area, then uses electricity within that area to ignite it, causing the explosion. She okay. can. She can affect the pressure of the atmosphere too. All right. Um, she can Ooh. make a thick fog. I just found something on Storm, and that might actually be a problem for her with Cora. Um, she can make the fog acid. So acid fog. Ooh. <clears throat> pressure field. Uh, she can use a field of pressure around herself as a shield, and. Not gonna lie, in a physical aspect, she has full control of the situation. Yeah. That being said, um, I decided to look up it really quick into certain weaknesses that Storm has, uh, Storm would have, and uh, there's one that mentions uh, astral projection is a weakness of hers. That whenever she's forced into a more spiritual based form, she can't tap into her powers. I can see that. Yeah, so I can see the energy bending be, uh, being a problem for her if she can figure out how to kind of get her soul away from her body and just enough so where she can't use her powers. That being said, what, let's see what else Storm can do because honestly, when it comes to the physical field, she's definitely winning. I don't think that Korra can take away her powers because... Bending, like you were saying before, is more of like a spiritual yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. Not handed down. If I said no, take I'm away, that was the wrong word. And not take away, but at least find a way to limit her from using her powers. Oh, no, I'm just making this as a separate point. Before when we were talking about this before. Um, mm. So, because the um, powers that she has are... By the chroma, I think it was like the on the X gene on the thirty twenty third chromosome or something like that. Mm -hmm. That gives her like the power that gives her her powers. I don't think she can take that away because it's part of her genetic code and not like part of a spiritual mindset. No, yeah, no, no, no. It, that, I understand. I'm just saying when when dealing with uh when she's dealing with someone who has spiritual based powers, she has she can't tap into her own powers when someone is finds a way to basically force her into an astral form. I mean, I feel I feel like that goes with any being when forced like that, but for her, that's much more difficult for her to be able to do it, so... And, Plus, uh, Cora's more familiar with that kind of battlefield in the spiritual plane. Oh, yeah, she can tap into it on, on demand, and so that's definitely going to be a field Storm's going to have an issue with. Can't control weather on a spiritual level. Nope. <laughs> But she is, she is a, I don't want to say a master, but she is an expert in close quarters combat hand-to-hand, -hand, so she might hold some kind of uh, ground there, but other than that, I don't, if she goes to the spiritual plane, I don't think she's lasting much longer. True. I mean, you are right, at least she can rely on not using her powers in other forms of combat if the situation demands it. She Will also it... has a knife. 
Oh yeah, <laughs> and she knows how to fucking she, use it. She carries, she carries a knife. And that's pretty much it. All uh, we could put on them. Um, we we'll to keep this one short because these two are pretty straightforward. If there are other abilities that we're missing, I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure D uh, Death Battle will find that. Somebody for will us. point it out. But yeah, I um, wanted to keep this short and uh, thank you guys for joining us. And already, I, as kind of random as this, I'm kind of curious where this is gonna go because I feel like as as powerful they are in a physical state, when it comes to a spiritual state, I think Korra might actually win this one. Do you think so? Or do you think more Storm? What are you thinking? I'm thinking Storm. Okay, so we're not on a full agreement. It's 50-50. So I'm definitely curious to see who's going to win this one. All right. Um, so I can see I can see riots if Storm doesn't win too. Because everyone who I bought this up to has said Storm by 500 miles. Really? But yeah, we'll see what you guys think. If you uh, put in the comment section what you guys think. Anything that we missed uh, and if you think Storm's going to take definitely this did by miss, a long shot. We definitely did miss... We did. We did. We definitely did miss some stuff. Because oh no, we yeah, did yeah. We purposely missed some things. I wanted to leave out like the basic shit and go to more specific details that might actually make a factor into this fight, specifically the energy bending and certain weaknesses, and and t and didn't really find any other stuff. And like I said, they'll probably point it out for us. But until then, we'll see. You till then, uh, thank you guys for joining us. I'm Deviant Dario. Infinite One. And you have a wonderful night.